Hey, yo, it's Peso Peso. Check me out on the Boule Kill Podcast. Hey, what up, man? Before we start the interview, want to shout out to Imperial Extraction. Look, man, they got these two gram THCA diamond loaded pre rolls and uh, so much more. They got the carts, they got everything going down, and you can get 20% off right now if you go to Imperial Extraction. Dot com. That's imperialextraction.com, but you got to use the promo code BOOTLEG20. This is that Yoda OG. Premium, 20% off, sent right to your door. THCA diamond loaded pre-rolls and so much more. Imperialextraction.com, promo code BOOTLEG20. Let's get to the interview. Bootleg Kev podcast, man. Special guest here. The hardest essay. Yeah. Hey. You know, uh, Peso Peso's here. Good to see you, buddy. Man, good to see you too, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, I want to give you some credit, some flowers, because I do feel like, you know, uh, being Mexican in hip-hop has not always been the gift that it is in 2024. Right. And uh, I feel like you're kind of like one of the OGs, especially, you know, out of at like doing what you're doing, like out of the Texas, you know, scene, just out of the South in general. Like We've always had Chicano rap and shit on, on the West Coast, but... You know, I kind of feel like you were, like, the first real fly Mexican to really pop, like, you know what I mean? Nah, for noise. sure. It, it definitely wasn't easy whenever, like, around the time whenever I came in. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because how long have you, like, been... Because, like, when did you end up linking with... Uh, Sauce? Yeah. Uh, like, like, late 2018, early 2019. Got it. Like, because even back then, like, you know, like, now we think about, like, I feel like it's, you're Mexican. It's great. Right. You know what I mean? Like... Right. All the labels are trying to sign Mexican rappers. Oh, bro, they, yes. They love Texas Mexican rappers. For sure. Shout out to uh, D-Baby, who's okay. Yeah, D-Baby, yeah, we good. They, was, thought, they thought that shit was, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. They had, they, they, I guess they made a mistake. It was somebody else. Oh, so his car didn't get shot up? Nah. Oh, thank God. Thank God, for real. Crazy, man. How wild is it? Because, like, I always tell people, like, we live in L.A., right? So, like... <clears throat> Out here, it's super easy to get robbed because it's hard to protect yourself. They make it really hard for you to, like, own a gun here. Right. So, like, where I'm from in Phoenix, it's open carry. So, there ain't a lot of people getting robbed because a lot of pe people get their heads blown off. Because right. you never know who's got a gun. But in Texas, right. it's, like, kind of similar. Like, it's, like, super, you know, everybody's strapped up legally, obviously. Right. But, like, do, does it, like, do you think it takes away from, like, the violence or like the random violence, cause out here we got so much random shit to be happening, bro. Nah. I'll be hearing about it in other places. Nah, because um, <clears throat> it's crazy. Um, I had went to the, I had went to the, uh, it was a, it's a YouTube channel. It's like a, a, a news YouTube channel, right? For Houston, and um, one day like I was, I went to the videos, and I, I was seeing like they was dropping a video like two, three times a day, like murder videos, like Jesus, this this person got murdered, <clears throat> this this uh. This man killed his wife. This two two people killed on the south side. Like, oh man. man. So nah, it's just yeah. It's I mean, look, I mean, obviously, Takeoff lost his life out there. Man, R. R. P. Uh, and uh, you know, one of the greatest rappers. Legit. Facts for sure. Facts. The greatest Migo. Yeah. Lyrically. Just and he was so humble. Oh my god! And he was like, just the influence. So many people rapping like Takeoff now. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. Shout out to take off one of the goats for sure. So uh, before you had linked up with, uh, with with Sauce, what was like uh, your come up as an artist? Like how how, how long have you like actually been kind of like you know putting out music, taking this shit serious? Um, I, I used to write whenever like I was in like juvenile prison. You feel right. me? Um, I used to like write music and just write rhymes and stuff and. Uh, I really just write them. It's like whenever I get out, I'm gonna show my brother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, whenever uh, I ain't get, I ain't go to the first stu my first studio session. So I was like 17. My pops had put me onto a studio, right? And uh, I made my first song. But I ain't start taking it serious until probably like 2017. I was trying to take music serious, and uh, but I was fighting a case. And um, I was on the run for like a year and a half. Jesus. Yeah, and and, and I met Sauce on the run. When I was on the run, I met Sauce. And uh, what was, was the case you were fighting? Were you it, it, it was it was uh, the police had kicked my door down and just found a couple pounds of weed. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that crazy, man? We be in L.A. First of all, it's so like if you live here and you travel, you be forgetting that like. 
it ain't L.A. Right. So like we'll fly to like all kinds of places, and I will always pack hell of drugs and. And this fucker right here is paranoid as. <laughs> super paranoid. I'm like, bro, it's all good. And then we we like land, and I'm like, we are in the south. <laughs> <laughs> but like even like the pack culture out here like bro there's so many motherfuckers running around with garbage bags of dope right now in la and like most cops won't give a f unless it's like astronomically like if you got pulled over with two pounds in la like you're probably just right they don't really trip about the weed in houston i mean i'm pretty sure they, they it, it's it, decriminalized it, in houston right yeah but two pounds you don't go to jail for sure but in houston you, yeah but it's gonna be a slap on the wrist but like outside of Houston, outside it, like, but like where I live though, like, 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 um, on the outskirts, yeah, you, yeah, you gonna be out of there. But where I'm from though, you, 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 you can go to prison for two pounds. What part of Texas are you from? I'm from Galveston County, Galveston Texas County. City. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah, no, it's it's wild, man. Texas got to get their shit straight over there with the weed, man. But I ended up, um, I, I ended up only my my lawyer was a horrible lawyer, and um, she ended up telling me like. If you don't turn yourself in, I'm gonna get off your case. So Sounds like a bad lawyer. Weird. I, I was a lawyer. I paid like only four thousand for. Her. Hey, you, it's like a tattoo artist. Yeah. You, you pay for what you get, buddy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, certain things you don't skim on. Lawyers and tattoo artists. Yeah. And and dentists. Yeah. So she, um, I ended up, uh, but I, but I seen saw some. I was on the run, and I told him like, "Hey, bro, I'm, I'm gonna get up with you, like for real." And he was like, "Man, let me know." Da, da. I was like, I "Just gotta, you know, what I'm saying, take care of my business first. You feel me? Right. So I was just stacking up my money while I was on the run, and then I ended up turning myself in, giving my granny half the money to take care of my kids, make sure they scrape, <clears> and then um, I only did end up doing like ten months in the county. You know what I'm saying? It was better than what I thought it was gonna be. And then um, after that, when I got out, that's whenever it was like a great area for me because I wanted to take rap serious, but I only had like a couple hundred dollars to my name. Mm. So I just, I had to like I go. So you like flipped it into 100K or something crazy, right? Yeah. And then that's whenever I linked back up with Sauce and uh, I had got a feature from him. And then. How does one turn $200 into $100,000 asking for a friend? Yeah, you just gotta know what you're doing, man. Yeah, you just gotta put one one and two together. You hear me? You gotta sell the outs as the ends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gotta put it together. You gotta get those nice light depths that pass for indoors <laughs> in Texas. Okay, you come, you come here, you meet with some agents. They give you a duffel bag. You take it back to Texas. You tell everybody it's ends, and they believe you because it's Texas. Yeah, yeah. That's anyway. one way you could do it. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, or, or Armenians. Shots yeah. Armenians. They got good weed. Uh, allegedly, of course. So you ended up kind of getting your getting your paper right. Yeah, got, you my, got, out. got my paper right. Linked up was finally linked up with Sauce, and uh, I told him I was ready. And but I, I was just gonna just get a verse from him. I never like told him like, give me a hand out, let me sign me. Right. Nah. I, I just wanted to get. I, I, I never was telling him I wanted to be TSF. You feel me? I'll just got a verse from him, and uh, he just ended up telling everybody around him that he wanted to sign me, and I was TSF, and this, that, and the third, and then I mean, I was, I was with it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely like was happy to be to to jump on board, and then shit, the rest was history. That's dope, man. Um, when you were locked up uh, as a kid, what were you in juvenile prison for? Man, uh, well, that that last case for us for um. <clears throat> Bullshit case, uh, burglary, burglary habitation. Mm. Um, but I was on probation. It was just for, like breaking into a house or something. Yeah, yeah. I was on probation for uh, robbery, and um, I had been in and out of jail for a lot of breaking in and breaking enters. I used to just break into licks. cars. I used to steal cars. Uh, I had some dope cases. And my my juvenile rap shit was pretty long. You feel me? Because I I've, I've been going to jail since I was ten years old. That's some old school. Cr- that's, that's, that's what they do in San Francisco now. All they do is f- crack windows and take shit out of cars. Yeah. So, so what I but was, you don't go to jail in San Francisco. They just f- slap you on oh, the wrist. Oh, I heard about that. I heard you could steal up to like $1,000. You could crack a f- window of a car and get caught red-handed, and they're just going to write you a f- citation in the Bay. That's why it's if you go to the Bay, you got to f- leave all your windows rolled down and take everything out the motherfucking car. That's what you got to do. 100%. Like, I got homies from the Bay when they park... They pop the trunk and leave it open, and they roll all the windows down because otherwise, 
the headache of even if you don't have anything in your car, they're gonna crack your window. Right. So it's like, do I really want to go through like dealing with going to the having window to buy, guy? Yeah, having to buy a window. The windows don't be cheap either. Exactly. Especially if you got a high end car. Yeah, my boy's got a Tesla, and like literally, like we'll uh, we'll, we'll be with him, and like when we get out to go to the club, that fool pops his trunk, op- leaves it open, rolls everything down. Man, what if it? Rain? You gotta make sure it ain't raining. Yeah, I mean, the bay is wild, bro. That's crazy. How would you like? Like, would you guys like? Because you you were you, you bringing in the houses like as a kid. Yeah. Would you like? No, like, I was always wonder, man, because I feel like that that bitch a stressful lick to hit, bro. Why you say that? Just like you cracking a window, jump, like you don't know if someone's home. Is there a dog inside? Is there? I do some wild. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it had been times where it was crazy, bro. So when I was like fourteen, I got sent, I got sent to a rehab because I wouldn't stop smoking weed. And um, it was weird. I was in there for, like, I was supposed to be in there for, like, 90 days. But, like, on my 40th day, I just couldn't take it no more, bro, because I was in there with a whole bunch of people who was, like, shooting heroin and smoking meth. And it, just, it was just, and, 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 and then they'll put us in these circles. And it was just, I just couldn't take it no more, bro. I felt like a J or something. You feel me? So, um, I ended up uh, saying I was going to run. You feel me? And I was talking to my homeboy from San Antonio, and he was like, we've been thinking about running, too. So he he gathered up his, his like, three or four homies from San Antonio. Because a lot of people from, that was in there was from San Antonio. Got it. And um, he gathered up, like, three or four people from San Antonio. And I grabbed, and I got my homeboy that was from the other side of Tech City, that where I was from. And shit, ran, and we left. And my homeboy from uh, from my side... He called his his mama and shit, and she she picked us up at a McDonald's, <clears throat> and then we went down there and we broke into we broke into an abandoned apartment and we were standing there, and then the next day, the next day we we was like, man, we need to get some money, we need to get some money. So I was like, man, I, I know a neighborhood, you feel me? So we went to this neighborhood, and um, man, we ended up breaking into one of the houses, throwing a rock. We, it, like I'd make sure nobody's in the crib though. Like, you throw a rock they, at yeah, the window. Yeah, I, like not a, very like discreet. A boulder, like like a some big. No wonder why you got caught, bro. Dude, I ain't get caught doing this. <laughs> not that time. I, I threw through it in there. And it was crazy because everybody look, everybody like looking around. And the first place I went to was the kitchen. Oh God, I was so hungry. You feel <laughs> know I me? Mean? Yo, that's like the type of shit you hear about on TV. I like, made me a sandwich. I got caught eating a sandwich. This is real life. I made me a sandwich. Oh God, I made them <laughs> niggas round all that shit up. And then um, whenever we left, we left. It's crazy, bro, because like like the, like the homies from San Antonio, bro, like we because we walking, so we have we having to walk across like the highway with and, in and, hand, and, and they got like ARs like in their pants and. Shit. And they're like walking like this and shit across the street. And uh, when we got to the apartment, I was like everybody breaking everything down, counting the money, like laptops, phones, um, you know what I'm saying? How, you know, it, the whole nine. And I was thinking in my head, like, if I don't get away from these dudes, I'm going to go right back to jail. You feel me? It's a fair, fair assessment. So, um, the guys just running across the freeway with ARs, I with took stolen some, goods. I took some <laughs> I let them keep the guns. Uh, they're too big to just wait. Did walk you guys with. take the guns out of the house? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they did. Yeah. I did. Allegedly. Yeah. But um, uh, I t- I took everything. I-, I took like a couple things that I can. You know what I'm saying a couple valuable little electronics. You know what I'm saying. Shit, you put, can flip. Put some money in my pocket, and I was like, "Hey, man, I'm finna go cross street to the college and get on MySpace. You feel me? I'm gonna f- with y'all in a little bit." And so I dished them niggas. I went across to the college, still uh, called my granny. And I was like, I know you mad at me, but come pick me up, like, right now. She was like, oh, my God, Mario. I heard you broke out. Yeah, she came and got me. Did she and drop you back off at jail? No, she dropped me off in the hood. Oh, okay. And she told me, I got to figure it out. Figure but it out. I ended up going back to juvenile and getting that shit away. MySpace was a wave. But, yeah. yeah. That shit. I would, but what I used to do whenever I was a kid, though, I used to break in the cars. Like, what I would do is I will wait till it get, like, real late. Right. And um, I'd get put, glove up, you know what I'm saying, and just, just go break into them. Just I wouldn't bust windows, though. I would just, a lot, you, you'll be surprised on how many people keep their door unlocked. For sure. You feel me? So um, that's what we were doing whenever I was a kid. On and Amazon, I, you can get, like, a one of those things where you just. And it's crazy because. I used to be good, but the reason why I used to always get caught 
is because I wouldn't know when to stop. Mm. I'll be doing it all night. I feel like that is every felon's uh, story. <laughs> and then whenever, and then it's crazy because every time I got caught, I'll get caught like at like five, six in the morning. And then uh, I'll be in a police station. Because you're, you're going to be in a police station for like three hours before they take you to the juvenile. It's the worst. And uh, I'll be in a police station and I'll just be hearing the phone ringing like, my car got broken into. Da, da, da. My car got broken into. Da, da. I'm just sitting there like while they just slapping all that shit on me. And shit. We got the guy. Those were the juvenile days, bro. Like for all from that, all like doing that and getting punished for that, going to jail. I ain't never stole again in my life. Like listen, with all due respect, I think in that 20, was some kids. 2024. Shit. Back then, I feel like the lick was like if you could get like a stereo. Cause you used to be able to yank them stereos out. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. The amps, speaker boxes. It's crazy. I never did that. And then back in the day when I was a kid, you'd be shook if so much because motherfuckers would be stealing your CD books out the car. <laughs> so you'd have like a three hundred page CD book, and you'd be like, I gotta hide this somehow because yeah. that was money. That was like thousands of dollars of CDs. Right. Man. I had a bunch of stolen CDs, no, allegedly facts. too. But facts, facts, facts. Was there like a a car that you would like, like the easy? What's the easiest car to break into, or were you just like? Nah, I just I, I would I never used a tool. I never used a. Uh, Nowadays they're f- I, taking their I would, keys and I, Hyundai's. I, I would literally just see if the door is unlocked. Right. If the door is unlocked, I'm going in. If the alarm go off, I'm running. What's the coolest thing you found in the car? Um, um probably like like. Guns, yeah. yeah, I feel like that's something that people don't even think about, like, and they leave it in the fucking under their seat. Yeah, there's so many people. Yeah, yeah. it's like, would you ever like if you? I always wonder, like, if you were like breaking into a house and you s- discovered some ill, crazy, nasty, like serial killer, ass, would you just leave, or would you like leave and then call the cops and be like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> I probably just run. There's some hostages stuck in this house. I don't don't t- don't ask me how I know. I may or may not have just broken in. <laughs> uh, and is that snitching? I don't know. It's, it's eh, I don't know. It's like when Cameron said uh, they interviewed Cameron and they're like, "So you mean to tell me if you live next to a serial killer and you knew he was a serial killer, you wouldn't snitch?" He was like, "Nope." I was like, "Damn." <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Especially if you got kids. I don't know. Or you'd move. I probably. I don't know, bro. I don't know what the fuck. Just have be. your girl do it. Like here, you make the call, babe. I can't. Hell no. Nah. can. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh, I'll probably get him out of there. All right, we got to stop the interview to tell you about the good folks at my bookie, man. Now, look, NBA playoffs are approaching. Whew. March Madness is in full effect. What are we talking about? Get in on the action at mybookie.ag. That's right. All right. If you want to bet on who you think is going to, um, you know, win the national championship in basketball, college basketball, on the women's side, on the men's side, Man, so many specials going on. Go to mybookie.ag right now. Sign up for a new account, and they're going to get you hooked up with that first deposit bonus when you use the promo code bootleg. That's right. Mybookie.ag. Use the promo code bootleg. Sign up for a new account, and you're going to get a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. What are we talking about? Playoff basketball. March Madness. People are playing hockey. I don't know why. Terrible sport to watch. Baseball season is approaching. Let's get it, boys. Let's throw some action in. Let's get in on that action. Let's get a little taste in there. Plus the full service casino. Man, blackjack, craps, roulette, whatever the f*** you want to play, they got it at my bookie. Promo code bootleg. Sign up for a new account. Thank me later when you get in all that money. You know what I'm talking about? Also want to give a shout out to our good folks at Odd Socks. You know, Odd Socks has a bunch of socks. I don't have any with me right now. But, you know, Cyrus is over here jerking his over here with his blue chew that he just popped. He just snorted a blue chew like a psychopath. Um, but shout out to Odd Socks, man. Look, this was dope, man. WrestleMania is coming up. I got all my wrestling socks from Odd Socks. They got the WWE license, oddsocksofficial.com. That's right. Go to oddsocksofficial.com. They are the most comfortable socks in the world. I just have underwear here. Yo, wait, we got drawers? No socks. We got fucking 38 drawers full of socks and Cyrus can't pull. Anyway, listen, if you've been watching the Bootleg Kev podcast in your life... Bro, you just spilled my energy drink. You f- didn't know your energy drink was there. You got a serious cleanup job here, Cyrus. Anyway, while I'm getting f- bombarded with socks, if you've been watching the Bootleg Kev podcast, 
We love odd socks. They're our family. And when I tell you I only wear odd socks, like, like I'm about to take the sock off of my foot right now. Ugh. This is an odd socks basic. You see that? I'm barefoot right now. The most comfortable sock in the world. I invite everybody. Just throwing shit like a psychopath, bro. I invite everybody to go to oddsocksofficial.com and participate in a level of comfort you did not know existed before. All right? So go to oddsocksofficial.com, use the promo code bootleg, save 20% at checkout. I suggest you get you some wrestling socks, get you some, uh, some transformer socks, maybe some half-baked socks. Yeah, let's get back to the interview. Has uh, Sauce tried to convince you to uh, join him in his, uh, not him, not joining him, but like, you know, get the OnlyFans hustle going? Me? Yeah. No, sir. Because he's making a lot of money on there. I feel like you could just manage chicks, right? It feels like a, you know, are you in a relationship? Yeah. Well, that's probably why. Right? Yeah. yeah. Nah, but not, not. I mean, you're I'm, a committed fellow. <laughs> committed fellows don't manage OnlyFans horse. Nah, but it's not even, like, I just couldn't see myself, like, fucking in. On, 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 no, I'm not even talking about fucking on uh, camera. Oh. Uh, I'm talking about, like, just, you know, uh, digital pimping, if you will. Yeah, nah, that's not my lane. Hmm. Not your lane. I respect Not my it. lane. Um, w w talk to me about, uh. Just, you know, obviously, we were talking earlier about, like, the, the Mexican rapper thing is going crazy. Right, right. Um, that Mexican OT is obviously a friend of mine and um, really amazing oh, young boy. man. And uh, you guys have made some dope songs together. Uh, what's it like to just see, you know, somebody out of Bay City, Texas, which is not too far from where you're from, just like, you know, it was crazy to see him do the rodeo and shit. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, he a good dude. You Super good me? dude. How did you guys? Cause did you guys initially have some sort of beef or something? We never had beef before. Oh, people, okay. people just think that because in an interview he said he wanted to be a better rapper than me. Like he just said, like I'm a, I'm a better rapper, like on some rappers. Yeah, he we never had beef before. That's never. good. Yeah. But how did you guys initially link up? Um, how did we link up? <sighs> hmm, I don't know. How we linked up? Vibes. Vibes? Oh, yeah. Shit, we were just cool on the internet. And then shit, he, I, I guess he was in Houston. Because, you know, he stays far from Houston. Like, an hour and a half or something. Right. And then shit, he ended up pulling him to the studio. And we made Chingon. Oh, that song's fire. Yeah, appreciate it. Do you know I'm a Mexican taller than Jody? <laughs> He's like yeah, the Mexican nah. Yao Ming. <laughs> nah, I don't. He's, he's like, that nigga like slim size. Bro, that motherfucker's like, yeah, he's like the Mexican slim thug. I'm like, bro, you, and he can't dunk. It's so disappointing. <laughs> he's tall for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that fool just be eating bean and cheese burritos all day and then fucking <laughs> dabbing at the gym. Look at Jody. <laughs> <laughs> Drug addict. <laughs> Shout out to Jody. <laughs> Jody, yeah, that's my dog. <clears throat> um, How hard has it been for you staying sober and not, you know, around? Uh, first, it was hard. It was hard at first because it's just so boring. You know what I'm saying? But feeling everything. It, it, I don't know. It's just it just gets boring. But um it's easy now just because like You're used to it. At first it was e at first it was it was like ah but it was like it made me do it because I didn't want to go back to jail. You feel me? Right. Like whenever you get a taste of jail, it's like when you get a taste of like it's like when people like I don't wanna say that, but <clears throat> no, when people get a taste of jail, they're like, "Oh, this shit is, this shit sucks." Yeah, but I was gonna say, I, like, go I was gonna say, like, if somebody got a taste of dying, like that should have probably f with them. Like, oh shit! Like if you almost OD'd or yeah. you did OD and you survived, or just like if you got shot and like you seen the light, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. they brought you back to life or so. You're like, like, I gotta change my. Shit. No, I can't go back to that space. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like I, I ain't trying to go. I was in in the feds for like ten days. And I shit. went to jail for like thirty two hours a few years ago and uh, I was like <laughs> I'm, I'm I can't do I'm like bro this is terrible <laughs> and I was in a fucking like I was in like a holding cell well initially you, in Arizona you go to like the shoe which I went to a different time but you're like in a room with like just a bums. bunch of homeless fools bums Not motherfuckers taking a sh and you're just like on the floor, motherfuckers is using the toilet paper for f pillows and. Sh and then, the last time I went to jail, yeah, he was at some. Sh 
Bro, it's Arizona. It was when Joe Arpaio was fucking running that cycle. Who's it? He's this sheriff named Joe Arpaio from, from Arizona. He's like a... What is he known for? Being a racist piece of shit. Yeah. So th- he had passed this law in Phoenix where uh, it was called it was SB 1070. It was like maybe like 10 years ago. Where you can't be if homeless. You looked Mex- if you were Mexican, he could pull you over. And if you didn't have your papers, he'd arrest you on the spot, even if you were legal. And then you'd have to prove that you were legal when you're in jail. What? Oh, and then there was Tent City. Yeah, there's a jail in Phoenix. It's got closed. Yeah, pink underwear. So you made all all of the inmates had to wear pink because he wanted to demascul- demasculize them, right? He weird. And then there, the jail was Tent City. So it's outside and you're just in tents. So there's no, like... And it, the goal of that was, it was in Arizona, it gets to be like 120 in the summer. Hi, it's like the desert, right? Yeah, 120 degrees, and you're outside living because Joe Arpaio is a psychopath. And did he get kicked out, or did he just... Dude, just, he was the just, sheriff for like, what, 25 years, 30 years? Oh, my God. He lost, finally. He finally lost. But dude's sick ass for sure. So how many years does it take to, to until, you, until somebody else runs again? I, don't know, I think four. Man, they let that nigga win ten times. Yeah, it was no, crazy. No, ten times crazy. Jar- like six. Terrible. He's terrible, man. <laughs> but not the jails in Phoenix have gotten a lot more humane for sure. But nothing like being stuck in a cell, a holding cell. That was mother. But that was, bro. I got bailed out as soon as uh, they were like getting getting me like dressed out to like take me to the actual jail. Right. I was like, oh, thank God. Just being alone, fucking no pillow, no blanket, just fucking a slab of concrete. Hey, I was watching your, in- I'll be watching your interviews and um, your interview with that dude, uh, Lefty. That's just so funny, bro. That's a Lefty, man. <laughs> That's just funny as it. He's bro. a good guy, man. It's whenever y'all, whenever, um, um, like whenever y'all talking about OT mm-hmm. and like, and like he, you, you were trying to say so he cut you off, you like. Bro, like, let me finish what I'm trying to can say. Can I fucking bro. talk, bro? Yeah, you can't talk with that guy. He was on a sick one when he came, though, for sure. I fool came in here with like a, what do you have, a bottle of Henny? That shit was like almost gone. He was just drinking it. And then, you know, whatever else he'd be doing. I don't know what else he'd be doing, you know. I don't want to speculate, but he, be, you know, he's, he's definitely uh, on something, you know. But he's a super talented rapper. He could just be one of those guys that's just high on life. Or. Something else, but very talented guy. He can actually rap. He's actually hard. Like, he. I like his music. You should have. You guys chatted at all? Nah, we haven't. He's a cool guy. Super cool guy. He's not a weirdo. He's not like. I mean, depending on what you consider a weirdo, but he's a nice guy. Very talented guy, man. Shout out to Lefty. He's one of the hottest out of L.A. right now. Um, yeah, no, that was a fun. That <laughs> interview, I just gave up like halfway through. I was just like, he was like, <laughs> my favorite ever. And then he would start having like. This whole off-camera conversation and with, like, someone over here. And I'm just like, well, we tried. It was fun. Yeah. And people now, liked the interview. And he killed his freestyle. He freestyled for, what, like, 15 minutes or something like that. Yeah. You know. It was cool. Yeah, shots of lefty, man. You guys should work together. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, maybe it'll come about. I don't know. Yeah, one day. I ain't never met him before. Yeah. Hey, talk to me about you're a guy who I've always noticed – you know, I've had a conversation about like rap hustling, and me and Filthy Rich talked about it. You will hit a city, and it's like, yo, tap in if you need a verse, if you need a video, if you need a motherfucking drop, if you need me to, you know, I don't know, fucking clean your pool. I'm in the city. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm in the city. Tap in, tap in, tap in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, for you being like an independent artist. And like, so I, I had that's important. That. It's imperative, though, for you yeah. guys to like. I feel like it's like, but how many songs have you done where I didn't like the song? It was terrible, and you were just like, "Man, it's a bag." It's happened, but they be getting text way more. Like if you hear the song and it's just cheeks, you'd be like, "Hey, yeah, man, it's double yeah, for this." Yeah, because if you if you willing to give me some money, you know your ass, you got the. You know, problem is most people don't know their. I think they know. I don't know, man. I think it's just like a like 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 a drug abuser who don't want to admit that. Yeah, and I think I think people like get off. It gives them like a hit of dopamine to be like, I'm a rapper. 
You know, wherever little part of town they're from, they, I got a song with Peso Peso. Yeah. You know, even if they get a fat off that, you know, they're I happy with that. I ain't look at it like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Do you ever pay for features? Um, nah. <coughs> the last feature I pay for is whenever uh, I pay Sauce for a feature. Damn. I haven't paid for a feature since. It's like a exchange thing, right? Like a switch or what do they call it? Not a switch, a f- swap. Yeah, but that that feature ended up changing my life though. For sure. You feel me? So he's a f- alien. He's so so good at rapping, Sauce Walkers. I'm not saying I'm against paying for features. Right. It's gotta be the right one. Yeah, for sure. Like if you had a if you got a deal on one. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on who the person is if I feel like this can really like benefit my career. You Would you pay me? Beyonce a hundred thousand dollars? She's worth it, right? Yeah, I pay Beyonce two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I pay Beyonce for a million dollars. Well, I don't she's, know. A million. She's probably charging <clears throat> over a million. I don't know if she's the type to charge though. She, yeah, you're right. She probably like she, she probably she only does do it, a she song with you. She like folks with you. She's a f- billionaire. Yeah, she, don't she only. Yeah, right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that's so true. I feel like once you get to that certain level, no one's charging for features. Like I don't think J Cole's charging people for features. He's just gonna do it or he's not. You know what I'm saying? Like same thing with Drake. Yeah, I feel like Drake's just gonna do what he wants to do, and then. Right, know. right, right. You're right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But I feel like you know, at the end of the day, like if you're a young artist and you're independent, like them feature bags, pay, they keep the lights on, man. Man, I'm gonna be coming in for sure, man. Um, is there is there any? What are you working on right now? Oh, uh, El Patron Two. Um, it drops May third. Mm-hmm. How many songs? Uh, twelve songs, and I'm a, and I'm gonna add. Some more songs for the looks. Any features? Yeah, I got some features on there. Um, yeah, I got like five, six features. OT's on there. Care to share? OT, OT, okay. Yeah, you got got for my dog OT. Um, Quavo. Yeah, man. Sick. And uh, free Quavo feature. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the rest of them just surprise. You hear me? But, okay. Yeah, so those are like those are like the ones that like you know what I'm saying. Hey, yeah. How'd you link with Quavo? Um, you know him and Sauce been fucking with each other, right? So uh, whenever I first, um, I first when I first met Quavo, I was like, I at first started coming around the rap shit for real. You know what I'm saying I was still hustling this, shit, you feel me? So I wasn't like rapping, right? But um, I ended up seeing him again though, you feel me? Like years later and shit, and he had told me like, you doing your thing, bro? You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. And then um, it's crazy because I was on house arrest for like a whole year. And after Christmas, my lawyer hit me up. I mean, my yeah, yeah, my lawyer hit me up and he was like, "Hey, you good? You ain't gotta be at the crib no more. They ain't gonna take the monitor off though, but right. you ain't gotta be at the house no more." So I went to the studio to go link up walk, and uh, it was just a big ass studio session, like Houston rappers and Quavo was there. You feel me? And then shit. So he's like, "What we doing?" Oh, that's fire, you know what I'm saying? We ended up doing the song. That's hard. Have you ever uh, worked out with OT's dad yet? Has he tried to get you to take, like, TRT or anything? Chuck? I, I, I ain't worked out with OT's dad, uh, huh, Pepe? Nah, 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 I have We'll post to, though. We'll post to. It's I, crazy to me that OT somehow That's has, my dog right there, no, bro. he's the best. That's like, my like, like he's, he, I love he's, Chuck. He's super real, Shout bro. Chuck. What I love about OT's camp, he is not only the tallest Mexican in the world on his camp, but he also has the buffest. Bulldog. Yeah. His dad is a f- s- I brought We'd be kicking it in. I'd be like, bro, I'm old and fat. <laughs> like, I just feel, I feel inferior around Chuck, man. Yeah, he, he, he a good dude, though. Super good dude, man. Shout out to Chuck, man. He's not like a bully or nothing. Um, Are you, uh, well, I, you know, I always wonder about, you know, because Sauce has obviously been in some very, very public feuds. Um. Have you been pulled into any of that just without even like you know? Um, nah, I yeah. haven't. Yeah, I haven't. I always wonder like if, like if if you sign to somebody or you're like if, if this fool's beefing with like so and so like I mean don't get you it. inherit the beef. Yeah, I mean <clears throat> you you gonna always like pick a side though. You feel me? But like I don't feel like he just like just throw me in that shit, like in the crosshair, but in the crossfire. But at the end of the day, like shit, I'm fucking with what he. With he with, you right, feel me? for sure. That's that's my brother. A lot of people are picking uh, sides right now. With this yeah, like if he if he if he ain't 
f- with somebody and it's <laughs> and he is it's legit. He ain't f- with somebody for a valid reason. I ain't fucking with him either. Yeah, Shit. that's fair. It's over with. Hey, we gotta stop the interview to tell you about our good folks at Blue Chew, baby. Everybody always asking me, does Blue Chew work? Yes, it'll have your d- hard. That's f- uh super hard. Uh anyway, um, so look, if you want to find out if Blue Chew works, trust me when I tell you. It's amazing. If you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, if you're dealing with maybe some stress at work and you're not performing in bed with your lady, whatever it is, man, all you got to do is go to bluechew.com right now. Use the promo code bootleg and they're going to send you a month supply for free. So don't take my word for it. They're just going to send you a month supply for free when you use the promo code bootleg at bluechew.com. Now, Blue Chew, if y'all don't know, it's the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis, but it's in a chewable form. And it gets delivered right to your doorstep in discreet packaging. The best thing about Blue Chew is this, right? Blue Chew, you don't have to worry about going to no doctor's appointments. You don't got to worry about none of that. It's all online. It's not. It's all virtual. It's all online. It's all handled at BlueChew.com. So use that promo code bootleg right now. Get uh, a month for free. Uh, and uh, your d- could be as hard as ever. Yes. And nobody, uh, well, nobody enjoys a hard d- like Cyrus, my producer right here. Uh, speaking of that, hey, can we give a shout out to King Palm? Oh my God, look at all this King Palm we have here. Jesus. This is why I love King Palm. Whatever you're into, they got for you. First of all, King Palm, 100% organic. All right? It's the world's best smokable leaf. Yes, flavors on flavors on flavors. Of course, here we've got our banana cream. Um, what's dope about these is they're filled with the terpene, no tobacco, no nicotine. Uh, you squeeze the tip, you get hit with some of that uh, banana cream flavor. Uh, they also got the natural joints right here. How about this? If you're into the uh, more uh, harsh tobacco leaf smoking, there we go. They got the tobacco leaf cones, banana cream, strawberry kiwi, just the natural sweet. Whatever you're into, what I'm trying to tell you is King Palms got it at the highest level, at the most natural level. At the best smokeability level. And right now, you can save 50% off. It's 50, right? Yeah, it's half off. If you go to King Palm right now, kingpalm.com, use the promo code bootleg, you'll get half off. Or you could just go to your local smoke shop, your local 7 Eleven, and get you some King Palms. Let's get back to the interview. What do you think of uh, the future Kendrick song? What do you think of Kendrick uh, dissing everybody and their mom? Well, Kendrick, hard. Oh. He's an alien, man. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just think it's a whole bunch of rap shit. A yeah. lot of rap shit for the sport. Yeah. That's I'm just shit. surprised Drake hasn't replied yet outside of Instagram captions. You think, you think it's coming? No. I don't think he wants that smoke. I think he knows he can't box with God, you know? Yeah. I think, like, J. Cole's going to reply, though, because Cole gets it. I think Drake, listen, Drake didn't reply to Pusha T. Drake did, he knows when he's outmatched. But my oh, so, thing is... So you, you, you think Pusha, like, had Drake, like, by, oh, the, yeah. by the toes? Oh, yeah. No, Bro, this man exposed his, uh, his son, ruined his Adidas deal, and talked about his best friend's cancer, and he didn't say anything back. What? This is the same guy who told Meek Mill, I've been waiting four days, where are you at? I, yeah. I've been bumping fucking AR app. It's been two weeks. Two yeah. weeks on Friday. No reply. Outside of him, you know, uh, having some captions. And he's not a bad disc rapper either. No, Back to Back is like one of the greatest disc records of all time. And I say that because I don't know another disc record you would go to the club and it's in the club. Like Back to Back was it like ringing off in the f- club. Right. And he like low key like ended Meek Mill for like two years. What do you think is the best disc song? Ever? Uh, personally best I think No Vaseline by Ice Cube's up there what you got Ether, Ether by Nas what is you up got? there yeah what you got Pay? hit him up Tupac yeah, what Ether. you got Mo Same shit. man I think hit him up is the best this song hit him up was great has so much energy that's why I fucked you up has so much fuck. energy but hit yeah it's up. like I just so, hope Drake replies and man. it came in the video yeah. Crazy. If Drake don't reply, I don't know, man. People still jam that song to this you day. You ever hang out with Drake? He's like, I feel like he's like a Houston, you know. I've never been around him before. No. Mm-mm. He's got an aura. He glows. I fuck with his music, though. No, he's a legend. He's yeah. one of the greatest of all time. 
Yeah, yeah. He's one alive. of the greatest of all time. So he's the biggest rapper ever for sure. Hell yeah. One of the best song makers of all time. For hey, sure. he's, he's great, bro. I remember whenever he first came out, I was like ten years old. And he reps Houston like he'd be going hard for the age. They they love him in Houston. Nah, for sure. They treat him. They treat him like he's from there. Mm-hmm. Nah, he's a. Uh, I mean, shit. He did the rodeo. He came out during the rodeo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How good is a Trill Burger? That shit great. Fire. Yeah, good, great burger. I hope he opens one in L.A. I keep seeing all these smash burgers. I'm like, bruh. Yeah, no. What I don't want to do is like go to Rolling Loud or like one of these festivals where they got Trill Burgers. You think smash burgers taste the same? I prefer a smash burger over like a a, a regular. No, I'm saying, do you think like all smash burgers taste the same? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen. You're going to season your ground beef and you're going to smash it. Do some people season differently? I mean, there's only so many f- ways you can season a f- burger, bro. Right. And then, I mean, how different is the ground beef everyone's getting? Like, I'm sure there's high quality ground Bun, beef. Bun told me he going, he going to the, straight to the cows. He going to get them cows himself. That's what Bun told me. I mean, listen. <laughs> maybe Bun, then. Bun said he going straight to the farm. But like a, I, I prefer smash style burgers than like yeah, a like fucking like when you go to like you know Outback and get a burger and it's all fat and shit. I'm like no nah, I want that smash you know what I'm saying that shit is there's a place out here called Easy Street that Keith Lee just went to that's cracking now because he gave it a, he said it's the best burger he ever had my two favorite burger spots in Houston is Trill Burgers and Bun Slut what's it called Bun, Bun Slut. Bus slut. Oh, I went there. Bun slut? No, bun slut. No, no, no. I went to a waffle bus. What's it called? Waffle House? Oh, you went there with OT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was right. cool. It was right. Yeah. You know what I don't like, man, when you be going places and you just, I feel like they only make food for social media? Oh, yeah. Like, it's like outlandish, like outlandish shit. Nobody really wants to eat, but they put it all together. And it's like, it I, guess all, I guess I'll have- It goes viral. Cereal chicken sandwich, like you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I know what you mean. Like, bro, I be seeing these motherfuckers <laughs> on on TikTok with like ten pound burritos, right? And I'm like, Ugh. why would you eat that? Who wants to order that? That's not even like a. That's not even a fuck. What are you supposed to do with that? You like is or like whenever they say, um, whenever they have like them super 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 hot wings, and they be like, right. if you can eat all the wings, your food is free, like. Bro, how can you enjoy Have that? Have you ever had a one the one chip challenge? I've never tried. I never did it. That's but just... but I was giving it to people. You did it. You did it? Did I pay you? No. <laughs> I lied. Uh, so, uh, I never Did tra- I tell you I was gonna pay you? No, I didn't. I said I'd post you on social media. Yeah, but that was, that, come on, bro. You know, I, I didn't tell you I'd give you money. I would never He I fucking would, puked I everywhere. Would never recommend that. That's you yeah. did it? He did it and he puked it. I convinced him somehow my devious ways. We're, where we're at? In Atlanta? In a hotel room? We're in a, the hotel, and I was like, bro, I was like, you got to do this shit. I'm posting on my feed to get you some followers. I'm like, you know, like... Uh, and then Mosh pussied up. Yeah, he, and someone else agreed that they do it with him, and then they he did it, and they were like, nah. <laughs> you should have made him do it at the same time. Bro, he threw up everywhere. It was like Same black. time. Yeah, no, that. And you know, I don't understand people who just voluntarily... You, th- you put threw it up? I threw up in the toilet. I didn't throw up everywhere. No, no, you threw up you threw up in the toilet, but like a, like a while later, right? You should have had some milk right next to you. <clears throat> no milk. How nothing. long how long did it last? Like like <coughs> he when was it fucked up. Like when did you officially get the peak out your mouth? Honestly it didn't hit. It ain't really hit until like maybe like five minutes, six minutes in for real. Like that's when I really started feeling it and then how long it Cause lasted. it made you like feel sick, right? Bro, my engineer TK is like, what, six foot four or some I gave him $40 to do it, like, maybe six months ago. He was down bad. You said, you gave him 40? 40. I was like, friendly 40. 40. Like, you gotta eat the whole chip, though. He ate the whole chip, though. You ate a half of it. No, I ate the whole chip. You did? Yeah. No, I don't. He's serious. Like, you gonna, yeah, get, my, you gonna get my card, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man! So you said May what is it? May third? May third? Yeah, it's 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 like for a single mile, but oh, I see what you did. They want to drop it on Friday. I'm gonna go out there in May. Uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, thing. Ot's doing the. Uh, he's got some shit going on at the yeah I'm rodeo. Per- I'm performing or, there too. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. Want to go hunting? It's going crazy. Let's go kill some hogs. 
We do it allegedly. Yeah. Oh, well, you, are you not allowed to kill hogs? Hell no. Oh, you can't be near the weapons. Yeah, I can't. Obviously. Why would you do that? Yeah. We're not going to go do that. Nah, for sure. Nah. We could go to, like, the strip club, though. Great strip clubs in Houston. I want to go to, like, 29. I want to go to a random one, though. Oh, T don't f with the strip joints. <laughs> I do, though. We yeah. should go to, like, I want to go to, like, a f sketch one. You know what I'm saying? A sketch I, one. Like, one that's, like, nobody goes to, you know? Nah, I don't want to I want to go where, like, it's nothing but Pisces in there. We don't get oh a chill uh, Paradise City. There we go. Let's go to fucking Paradise City. <laughs> Paradise City for sure. There we go. Nah, we're going to twenty nine, bro. Twenty nine. Yeah. Houston uh could be the best strip club city in the country, quite possibly. For sure. It's top three. For sure. I think it's the best I one. I think it's Houston, Miami, Miami Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, yeah, you got it. Miami's my favorite though. Tootsies, all the I've never been to a strip club in Atlanta. I've been to Atlanta. Solid. Not bad. Now, if you're into Latin women like me, it's Miami. You gotta go to Miami, you go to Tootsies, and then all the all the ladies are fresh from the water. Uh, and, you know, you know, I'm from the West Coast, so we have a lot of Mexican women, you know? What part of the West Coast are you from? Phoenix. LA? Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, yeah. So, you go to, like, uh, Miami, you get them other type of Latinas, you know what I'm saying? Hey, is it true <laughs> that, you um, know, I don't know if it's, if it's in Phoenix or somewhere else in Arizona, that the, the ratio is 20 women to one man? In Scottsdale, this is what they say. Oh, in Scottsdale. There's hella whores in Arizona, bro. It's like capital of the world is it oh there's so many if you're into white there's not a better place in the world for you to go and that and they're all super like just honestly scottsdale women are the most they're like la la level but they're like you know like idaho level iq so they're just very easy. Like if you just like rented a BMW or something, like you right. get your f sucked. All right. You know. Crazy. Yeah. If you have like a, you know, you get them an Uber Black, it gets their f wet. What the? F you don't even got. Yeah. You don't even got to own the car. No, they never had shit. It ain't even that. They're just like so shallow and like. Yeah. I be feeling like a, a, a lot of those cities though, like they're not used to being around like luxury. Shit. No, no, Scottsdale's a very high-end city, but Is those it? girls are just so thirsty to, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the clout and to be around money that they just, they're just very, you know. Right. And I own a club in Scottsdale. Go to 1111. Um, but oh, it's so like... you are a club person. Yeah, I mean, I own a nightclub, yeah. 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 Where Crazy. at? It's in my... No, it's in, uh, it's in Scottsdale. But no, we opened... Uh, Wiz Never Been. We opened like a year and a half ago, but yeah, no, Scottsdale's fun. You like it? It's cool. Yeah. You, I mean, you be in Arizona a lot. You, you should, used to be. I feel like I would always see you out there doing like random. Yeah, I did a couple of shows out there. Yeah, you didn't you do a show with like uh, Gmo? Who? The homie Gmo and Fee, the a, uh, AVP guys, Avenue Productions. Gmo. I think you did a show on the West Side somewhere very random. If you seen it, then I did it. Yeah. Uh. Do you regret getting El Chapo tattooed on your hand? Nah. Yeah, nah. Could you have gotten somebody you actually knew? Yeah, but I ain't want, I wanted to get El Chapo. The strange man you've never met? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering when people get like his face story, tats. Because his story is like different. Like he was very ambitious. For sure. Me? Yeah. Like he really wanted to do this shit. His you know chick saying? who got let out? Fire. Yeah. She, uh, but just the fact that like he was like the driver and like right and worked was, his way and, up and like he crossed the the, the middleman and like went to the plug and like that was gonna kill us. I always wonder like if you're the next dude to f chick after El Chapo, is that like that'd be hard to get hard? Because well, I'd be afraid like you know like uh, his girl got out of prison. Oh uh, yeah, and so I saw like the the pap paparazzi had her on a date with somebody or some. And I was like. That dude's got to be shook. Oh, because he all on the on the camp. Yeah, because that's his. Yeah. They probably still be together. I mean, who knows? But, you know, he's incarcerated. But, like, yeah. I don't want to El Chapo's ex. Right. I don't need that juju. <laughs> Shit goes left. She definitely seen some wild ass. He like, it. she too fire. I got to have her. Nobody's that fire. Tell me. Tell me she is. Man. Anyway, man. Well, look, uh, your project's on the way. Anything else you got that you're working on? Um... 
Man, bro, I'm just working. Like, I'm just in the studio every day, knocking songs, shooting videos, and just stacking up. Good. That's what we're doing. We staying, stack, staying out of jail. We're stacking up on material and definitely staying out of jail. I ain't been to jail since I caught my case. Good for you, man. Yes, sir. Um, any, any, uh, would you and, uh, would you ever do like a, like a, like a collab project with anybody from LA? And like a rapper from LA? I, I've done a, um, a collab, like LA project before. Um, with other rappers from here? Yeah, who was on it? Um, Sway, R.I.P. Sway. Rest in peace. Yeah, um, Weirdo was on it. He, even though he's San from Diego. Diego. Yeah. yeah. Um, Phoenix was on it. Shout out to Phoenix. Uh, who else was on it, Joe? Ralphie. Yeah. Shout out to Ralphie, man. Yeah, I, fuck, I love fuck Ralphie. Ralphie. Ralphie, good people. Super good guy. Yeah, yeah. And his people, they, they all Draco's people. one of the most influential motherfuckers alive in LA. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's like, baby Draco's. Yeah. He was hard. And Shoreline, I still fuck with music. I still fuck with Draco music. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And there's like, there's so much of it that's still just like not out. Right. He recorded at like a really prolific rate. You know, mm. some guys don't record as much. So it's like when they pass, like Pop Smoke, we got one album. You know what I'm saying? And it was kind of stitched together. But like Draco's got records. So. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't even think of that. Pop Smoke did only drop like one like album. So since he died, only one album dropped. Because Vaughn and Juice didn't drop hella albums. Yeah. Well, they them dudes. I mean, Juice were recorded at a very high pace. All you right. know what I'm saying? Right. And like the thing about guys who are melodic, there's so many ideas that just get laid down off the top of their heads that like, the, man, if like if you're like a like a real songwriter or like you you really got the gift to do the melody, shit, brothers. I mean, Alexis, my artist Alexis is fucking who Sauce Walker tried to sign. No shit. Yeah. Was like who is it? He used to go by Brown Boy Maj. Now he goes by Alexis. Now he's a Mexican singer. He's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I got to tap y'all in, man. But yeah, man. Well, look. Uh, appreciate you pulling up, bro. Nah, Finally, we got to make it you. happen, bro. Yeah, yeah. Peso, peso. Boom. Want to shout out to Hardeen, man. Hey, don't forget. This interview was brought to you by Hardeen. And when you're hitting Las Vegas, you got to stop off at Hardeen. Tell the Uber driver, the taxi driver, take me to Hardeen. They're going to take you. They're going to get you right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go visit him at uh, HardeenLasVegas.com. Go follow him, Hardeen underscore Las Vegas. And when you go and check out the most craziest premium selection of cannabis in the world, um, make sure I saw you tell them I sent you. They're going to get you situated. Salute to Hardeen. Thank you for watching.